Context Capture tutorial on production clipping from DGN. So step one is to have your context capture block arrow triangulated and reconstructed already. Step two is to then open the context capture editor, create a new DGN and attach the mesh. Step three is to draw a polygon around the desired area of interest. Step four is to save the DGN. And then step five is to go back to context capture and submit a new production. You will import the polygon under the extent tab of the production dialog. All right, so step one is to have our mesh already reconstructed. I arrow triangulated it and reconstructed it here. It's a large area. So we'll open up context capture editor, have a blank BGN. Go to our attach tools, attach reality mesh, apply the geographic coordinate system. And we now have our mesh in context capture editor. I'm going to make the mesh not snappable to make drawing the polygon a little bit easier. We then go to step three, which is to draw the polygon around our desired area of interest. I'm going to clip out this building. Polygon shapes can be irregular like this, or you could also just draw squares or what have you. We'll then save this. Step five, go back to context capture. In our same reconstruction that we already used, we will submit a new production. Construct the 3D mesh, use all the default settings. And when we get to the extent tab in this dialog, we will import from file and select where the file is. We now have 10 out of 36 tiles. Make sure an engine is running. And because we are using the same reconstruction that we had before, we get a much faster reconstruction here with the reference geometry. As you can see, the first tile is already bumped up to 72%. So we let that run. So our end result is that it, a mesh that is clipped within the tiles as opposed to previously we would have had to reconstruct the entire tile. So this gives us a much cleaner mesh and better edges. And that is how you do production clipping from DGN.